Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is having a wonderful Sunday thus far. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Monica. Here on this channel I do DIYs, crafting, and occasionally revamping. We have three DIYs that we'll be getting into today. So with that being said, let's start crafting. Okay, DIY number one, we will be making a planter using this coffee can and I um, apologize I lost the footage of me just spray painting the can with the white spray paint. We will also be using the wood pieces from a wind chime from Dollar Tree and we will also be using this non-skid rug pad from Dollar Tree. Now what you see me doing here is just measuring um, how much I will need of this um, non-skid rug pad. I'm making a cut right here as to where I'm going to cut it down to and we would then hot glue this to the can. We will leave enough out to tuck in at the top of the can so that it can go into the um, inside of the inside of the can excuse me and the bottom part will be measured to the bottom rim of the can. We will not glue it up under the can, but it will be glued um, starting at the bottom. Now, once we have our can wrapped with the non-skid rug pad, we will then start putting on our legs. Now, because this is a non-skid um, rug pad that has lines, it will show you as to um, how high or how low that um, you can put your um, legs on. Now I don't have an exact um, measurement of the, the legs because you may choose to do yours at one height whereas I'm doing mine at a Pacific height as well. But I did, like I said, I did use the wood pieces from the wood wooden um, chime from Dollar Tree. So I'm wrapping up here by um, cutting off the excess and as you can see right here at the top, like I stated earlier, we're leaving um, extra on and we're going to glue that. We're going to tuck it in and glue that to the inside of the can. And once that is complete, we will then glue on the legs. Now, you will see me draw a circle, which I will trace out the bottom of the can onto a piece of paper. I will draw a circle out. I will then fold that circle into four parts. That will give me a center point and it will also allow me to determine where I will be gluing the legs on. Once I do that, I would then glue the legs on and that will complete our DIY number one. Thank you. 
Okay, DIY number two, we will be making a frame using these five gallons, and I do apologize that it wasn't in range, but they're five gallon paint sticks from Lowe's. And you and they come in three per pack, so you need two packs of these because we have to use four of the actual paint sticks. Now, a lot of people like to cut these down because at the end of the paint stick it has a curvature piece but i wanted this to be a pretty big size and i wanted that curvature piece to give this a little bit more of a um creative flair to the actual frame so what you see me doing here is laying out the pieces that i will be cutting um for each corner now what I'm doing is laying the corner pieces on top of each other and measuring where to actually um, cut them. Um, as you saw me doing um, a few minutes ago, I placed the actual piece on top of the other. Once I did that, I took my pencil and made a mark where they meet at. Now where they meet at, that's where you also actually make your um cut onto the wooden stick now once you make all your cuts on all four corners then i'm going to stain with the canyon brown once my um, stain has completely dried i would then get started gluing the corners together as you can see here it has dried I'm using a wood glue as well as hot glue to adhere them to one another and here you see me just laying it out just like a um, actual picture frame I'm gonna use some wood glue and hot glue now once I have my uh, frame together I would then turn it over and to secure it even more I will use um, some of the large popsicle sticks and glue those in each corner on the back to give this an extra sturdy hole now also on this particular frame once it's completely dried to give it a little bit more decorative flair I will be adding a um, wreath in the center using burlap ribbon along with some farmhouse ribbon and I will put that in the middle of the actual frame once I do all that that will complete DIY number two
Okay, DIY number three, we will be making a small tray. I will be painting these trays uh, black. We're only gonna be using one. Um, I got these from like Dollar Tree, I think about a year or two ago for a quarter. Now, the tray has been painted. We'll be using this snake piece um, from Dollar Tree. I have some leftover wood pieces from um, the wood stakes that are sold at Dollar General. Now these are two and five eighths that I cut mine down to. Now what you see me doing here, I wanted my legs to go onto the tray at a slant. So what I did was just uh, take the uh, stake and use my miter box and cut it each end down at 45 degree angles. Now once I have all four pieces cut down um, at the 45 degree angle, I would then, as you can see right here, I would then go ahead and stain all of my pieces. Now, what I did with the wooden snake, I clipped those down to six um, pieces. And for each side, those are gonna be like the handles um, for the actual tray. Now, what you see me doing here is just staining the wood with the um, Canyon Brown from Valspar. Now once all of my pieces have completely dried, I would then begin to put the um, leg pieces, the foot pieces onto the tray using um, hot glue as well as super glue. Once those have been put on, I will then put on the actual handle pieces which will be those um, snake pieces and the actual wooden um, beads. Now that's optional. You do not have to um, do that if you don't want to, but I just wanted to make this a little bit more decorative. So that's why I chose to use this um, part of the snake and the wooden beads. Now, as I said, once I have these um, little feet pieces glued on, I would then glue on the actual um, snake pieces as my handles. Now what I did with the snake pieces and beads, um, I glued the bead onto the ends of each of the snake pieces and then I glued the bead itself once it um, dried down. The bead is what is what is going to be touching the actual tray. And as you can see here, I put hot glue and I applied the actual super super glue and these um, are glued on at an angle on each side and once I get finished doing that I will glue on the handles and that will complete DIY number three you all for viewing my channel I hope that you have um, liked the video um, 
this evening please remember to subscribe to this channel hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video and also hit that thumbs up button to like this video and also remember you can follow me on instagram at u-k-n-e-i-k have a lovely day